It's an important part of everybody's day. And here on the Anxiety Society, we want to push ourselves to be as physically fit as possible. So get ready for the first ever basic athletic challenge, or as we like to call it, the Bach. My name is Justine. I'm Seth. And today we are going to challenge ourselves fitness wise. And we're just going to run through very basic things that you yourself at home can do right in the comfort of your own home without needing to buy any equipment apart from the treadmill. Yeah. Um, we're using a treadmill, by the way, because I don't know how you would record doing an actual run because we're supposed to run around a lake that's right by my house. Look, uh, here, Zeph, just move off to the side just a little bit. No, no, other side. Look. Here's a picture of the lake right here that I had to take later on. Awesome. So yeah, basically, I don't know how you would film that. I'm going to use the benefit of the fact that we have a treadmill to just film us running on the treadmill. Yeah. Also, if you think that this video looks far different from every other video, it's because we had to move around the camera a lot and we don't get to use this basic setup that we've used for almost every other video ever. So get ready to enjoy one of the best experiences you'll ever have. This is The Mock. So after a good old round of rock, paper, scissors, of which I won, Zeth gets to start doing this first. Yeah. So hopefully... Oh, wow. I've done a really bad job of keeping you in frame there. That was fantastic. <laughs> Look, I told you, this is what happens when I get to work with new rigs. At least it'll be stable because, you know, the handlebars. That's the nice thing. But so, I got to... So, I got to... No, gosh, no. I was just like... I was just kind of putting you here. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I have a phone here. We're going to be using that uh, to time these out because each one of these is going to be a minute each. Yeah. The beauty of everything. It's the fear of everything. So we're going to go to our clock. We have one minute. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to rock and roll. So up first for the Bach is one minute of push-ups. Again, we're using the phone for a timer here. I'm going to make sure that the volume is turned all the way up. So that way uh, it'll be heard no matter what. Alrighty, are you ready for one minute of push-ups? I feel like I'm not going to do well. Well, don't worry. This is the baseline. We will always improve from this. Right? Because mm -hmm. we want to do better than... we want. The next time we do a Bach, we want to make sure that we do better the next time than we do this time. Ready? Sure. Three, two, a one, and go. One, two, three. I tell you, I'm not going to... Five, six, seven. I don't think I have the right cross arm for sure. Eight. My arms. You feel it. Mm hmm. Nine. Ow. Ten. Eleven. Come on, get in twelve. Twelve. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Done. So up next we are gonna. So up next we are doing sit-ups for one minute straight. Get ready. On your mark. Get set. Go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big strong boy. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, thirty seconds in. 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Very nice, we'll give you a second and then we will move into the last exercise. So the final task that we are gonna be doing today is the jumping jacks. This is by far the easiest of the bunch. It's just a nice relaxing hip hop, skippity dop, beep bop, rock steady. Probably for you. I just made a reference, but cool. All I, right. I got your reference. Cool. No, what? I'm saying that it's probably will be good for you because well, what? Of my problem. Eh. Cause you do know what you're saying on your legs and You can take it slow if you want. No, it's fine. Ready? Three, two, one, begin. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32 and 30 seconds. Forty. Forty one. Forty two. Forty three. Forty four. Forty five. Forty six. Forty seven. Forty eight. Forty nine. Fifty. Fifty one. Fifty two. Fifty three. Fifty four. Fifty five. Fifty six. 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. And now it's my turn. Okay. So, now that Death has completed uh, his first third of the challenge, it's now my time to do so. So, as that's ready. I'm going to start doing push-ups. Okay, so oh, wait, then go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Fists here. 32. 32. 33. 34. Okay. Now pause. Go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two.
go. So unfortunately, Zeth's knee gave out after completing the wall set. So for now, because we're not here to, to hurt each other, uh, we're, Zeth is going to bow out of the uh, bridges and the handstands. Um, we'll turn it to me now to do my bits. Yeah. And then Zeth, if his knee is good, will attempt to do three laps, and we'll see how long it takes for that. Fair? Fair. I mean, you definitely gave it your all, so, so, props. I guess we'll turn it to me now. Let's rock and roll. Yep. I need you to hit the timer. Okay. Because I'm not doing as longer than I have to, let me tell you. So, Zeth, uh, your knee feeling any better? Yeah. Awesome. So glad to hear that. It's just my whole knee, calf, and ankle just decided n not to... Fully cooperate. Oh, definitely. No, totally. I mean, I mean, personally, right now, I mean, my my calves are kind of hurting, but that's because I did three minutes of high knees, um, in wrestling class today. Yeah. But otherwise, it's great. Uh, by the way, this is I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you that if you haven't already subscribed to the Anxiety Society, uh, that you totally should, because me and Zeth here are recording a bunch of fun content for y'all's enjoyment. Um. Sometimes we do really dumb things, like uh, record at midnight, uh, just to make sure that the videos get filmed on time. Um, so, you know, I feel like with that happening, it's definitely worth the subscription, because you never know what you're going to get with us, and neither do we. God, that was like a... So, uh, the next part that Zeth was going to do before uh, his knee gave out, uh, was uh, going to be headstands and bridges. Uh, these are huge and kind of important, kind of important for uh, wrestling. And since I'm training to become a wrestler, I figured I just put that in there. Um, for future box, we might have things like squats, lunges, things that work on uh, hip potato, uh, hip rotator, rotator cuffs, uh, glutes, uh, and you know things of that nature. Yeah. But for now, I need. To to build up my neck muscles, which is why I've put in uh, headstands and bridges to develop that stuff. So I'm going to get into headstand position, or at least I'm going to try to. Uh, and then that's just going to time me, uh, so you can change it to the stopwatch. Because something tells me there's no way I'm going to make a minute on this, at least not now. Because uh, I haven't done uh, headstands and this stuff in like a month or more, actually. So there you go so you're just gonna hit start when i'm in position yeah and then you're just essentially gonna time me for how long i can stay in set position that's that's what we're going here for right? yeah and if i'm not quite there yet then uh don't start the timer obviously go go This is a good practice for being in a suplex. Yep. Uh, yep. Mm. I can feel that happening. And I'm done. 
41 seconds. 41 seconds? Yes. It's not bad. Okay. Recording? Yep. Cool. So I'm just going to do uh, a head bridge for now. Uh, just to, again, develop the muscles in here and just get me used to bridging on my head. Um, again, for future ones, we might use hands or whatever, but for now, I'm just going to use hands. So, once I get in a bridge position, start that timer. Uh, is it on stopwatch or is it on timer? Timer. Perfect. Which means it's timing me for one minute specifically. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Man, you know, this is so fun. Oh, man, so you're missing out on such a workout. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling it so much right in this muscle right here. Yeah. Just trying to remember to breathe. This might be the one that I underperform on the most, potentially. But I want to hold for like 30 seconds at the very least. If I can get there, I'd be pretty happy. Well, you're 50 seconds in. I'm, what? You have 10 seconds left. Oh my god, are you kidding me? No. And now for the final thing, we're going to do uh, three minutes, or three minutes. We're, so I'm just moving the camera over to show the audience here. Three laps. person who can do it in the fastest time, you know, is, is, is a winner is you. Three, two, one, go. We can increase the pace at our own rate. Yeah. So yeah. Now I have the microphone, which now means I can give an exclusive interview with one Zeth. Zeth, how do you feel about current president of the United States, Joe Biden? <laughs> really? Yes. He's an idiot. Okay, why do, you, why do you say that? Well, I'm a Canadian and well, I don't really get to live in America. Sort of thing. And well, look at how the last president turned out. Do you have hopes that Joe Biden is going to be a better president than Donald Trump? Hell no. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I haven't even reached lap one. You haven't even reached lap one. You can look yourself. In two minutes, I haven't. Even. Good luck. All right, and so now we are back. We totally weren't on pause for a brief second there to fix setup and everything. Uh, it's, we, I see that Seth has turned to the strategy of using the uh, walking sticks that are available with this treadmill. Uh, do you think you're gonna get a good time? Not at this point, I'm still on lap one. It, it's taken me almost four minutes now and I haven't even completed it. Very interesting.
I'm just gonna ask you from behind here, so don't look at the camera. Yeah. Just focus on your on your thing here. Yeah. Uh, do you believe that you will be excited for the day you get to start doing uh, headstands and head bridges and stuff like that? Nope. That doesn't excite you in any way, shape, or form. No, because it's more of nerves. But you will conquer these nerves. Hopefully. Nerves? You will conquer. Hopefully. I like that I just busted out a Yoda imp imp impression there. Yep. And got no remark for it. I'm focused. We got a focused man here. You know I'm five minutes. Hey. That ain't bad. So in the time that we were uh, listening to some fun audio, Zeth made it to lap one, around the six minute, 50 second mark. I'm gonna guess 50 seconds. Yeah. How do you feel? Tired. Really tired. Hello, it's me, with all the bad hair in the world. Uh, I'm really proud of Zeth for the hard work that he's put in. Uh, it's it's unfortunate that he wasn't able to do uh, the headstands or the bridges because I was genuinely curious to see uh, how he handled those. Um, but you know we don't want to we don't want to break our bodies. We just want to push them to see if we can uh, work really hard. You know, and sometimes it's a it's it's a little bit of a give and take. So sometimes, uh, sometimes you need to kind of hold back before you can, uh, you know, put all put it all in. You know, it's more about constant movement rather than, you know, uh, starting and stopping, starting and stopping. Sometimes you gotta move fast, and then sometimes you move a little slower, slower, but you keep moving. So I'm really proud of the fact that that is uh, pushing onward. It's really late for the both of us, but I'm but I'm proud that he that he's trying. All right, status update. How are we doing? I'm almost ten minutes in, and halfway through that one. That means you are halfway through this whole thing. How do you feel? Still very tired, but it's worth it. Do you think you will start working out in preparation for these videos going forward? Probably. Honestly, probably. Because, heck, I walk up, down, up, up and down stairs all day. Honestly. But I'm guessing you've, you've never done anything like this before, eh? No. Zeth, if you wanted to say anything to your fans or the fans of Anxiety Society, what would it be? Just pretty much subscribe since we do do stuff like this. We have other stuff planned too. That for the future. 
that will actually push us more out of our comfort zone. Sort of thing. But yeah, subscribe and like. Finer words could not have been said. So yeah, what are what are we doing for time, by the way? Uh, Thirteen twenty-two. Hey, but you got two laps done. Two laps. We're almost done. Do me a favor and hit the time or the speed, the digital speed, just so I can show the audience uh, what the speed is. Speed is at 2.5, which means that it was going at a 2.4 beforehand. Yeah. So you're clocking in at like a 2.4, which isn't bad. Yeah. And this is walking pace, which isn't bad. And a heads up to the people, uh, I'm going to be running this, or at least jogging. Yeah. Because uh, I, didn't, I didn't take into account how long it was going to take. But that's okay. You know, we're all having a good time. We're getting, our, we're getting our fitness in. You know what we should do for one of these box? We should get the, uh, we should see if we can get the Sour Patch uh, protein powder or whatever. Yeah. Or, uh, what is it, pre-workout? What's it called, pre-workout? Pre yeah, we should get the Sour Patch pre-workout, drink that, and then go. Oh, boy. What do you think of that idea? Yeah. Sour Patch made us work out. I've honestly never drank in the protein thing. Uh, like a, like a pre-workout? A pre, yeah, I never drink in a pre-workout. Neither have I. So... We'll figure out how to get Markiplier here, and we'll have Markiplier uh, do it with us. <laughs> if that could ever happen. If that could ever happen. We'd love it to happen, but... Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. But yeah, this is legitimately incredible. I'm kind of glad that we're doing it this way because this is like, at least as like, especially for you anyways, this is like the ultimate baseline yeah. of your, of your current physical fitness, right? Yeah. I mean, for me, it's kind of hard to say what baseline is because I've been doing forms of exercise my entire life. Thank you, swimming. You're a godsend. You almost halfway through lap two? I'm almost done lap two. You're almost done lap two, all right. Let's take a look at what we're what we got over here. Oh yeah, look at that. And in three, two, one. How do you feel now that you are done? I bet. All right. Get ready to film me. All right. So there you go. That did it in about 18-ish minutes. Uh, time will be somewhere because I don't remember if I got it in frame properly. 
before I ended the shot or whatever. Anyways, I'm going to go now. Uh, and trust me, we're going to go all out for this. Uh, yeah. Because I want this to be done as quickly as humanly possible. Whether this is to my benefit or my disadvantage, time is about four by five. So we're going to go to a solid 3.5 and we're just going to, we're just going to, we're just going to rock, we're just going to walk the walk and talk and talk, walk the walk and talk, and talk as they say. Yeah. Uh, I can probably put this up to a four before I need an actual jogging pace, before I need to start jogging to match. So yeah, we're just going to go to practice. Let's get, uh... Let's get up there right now, shall we? And let's see if Jogging can get me through this quicker. The yeah. time to beat is 18 minutes, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. So we're just gonna go before and see what happens. Yeah. I'd recommend getting your feet off of my treadmill, because I don't want to accidentally step on it, and I certainly don't want your toes to be, uh, you know, scraped up against it. Especially yeah. considering I'm about to crank this up. Again? We're about a 4.5, yep. Wow. Like I said, normally I walk, so my walking is okay. But if I'm really going to push my limits, I have to go beyond walking. Mm -hmm. Also, seeing your walk and how long it took you to get through this walking pace, because I don't want a 45 minute video, uh, I that tells me in my brain that I have to try to get this get through this as quickly as I can. Yeah. And what was your walking speed? It was like a, what, 2.4? 2. 2. Yeah, 2.4. Did you ever go beyond 2.4? No. I mean, technically you did because you went to 2.5. Yeah. So that way we can see what the time, where the speed was. But yeah. Apart from that, you didn't go above that. No. So, it might seem unfair that I'm essentially going double your pace, but that's because I feel confident in my ability to maintain pace yeah. at this level. Again, this is to establish a baseline, but because I'm always going to want to challenge myself, I'm going to challenge myself right from the get-go, right from the baseline, just to see if I can hold it. Yeah. Remember, I was doing high knees before this, so like, yeah. everything in my legs hurts beyond belief. Um, and don't be afraid to, like, hit pause and change different camera angles or, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Because trust me, this ain't lasting long. Uh, you like to show the audience uh, what my current time is and where I'm at. You're not getting it in the frame? I got it. This is where one hand will help you because then you can kind of let it go on one side and just get it down like that. See? See what I mean? Yeah. Is that a 4.5 right now? Uh, let's take a look. Oh, I would have to push the button probably. Yeah, yeah. 4 point, you're 5 now. You're at 5. First lap already done. Yeah. So, I do have a curious question. Sure. What do you think of what happened to Scott Koff now that he they, he's forced retired? It's a whatever thing, but that's just because math wasn't a big part um, for me, anyways. Like I knew that it was there, and because I watched so many game theories from Matt Pat uh, and Mark Fire and stuff, I could probably give a baseline understanding of the game, characters, plot, whatever, what have you. Um, but. You know, Scott Coffin was trying to make it in the gaming industry, and if NAF didn't succeed, that was just gonna that was gonna be his last game. Uh, 
is it's sad to see that Scott Coffin had to essentially be stripped of his, of his hard work to build this empire. And it was just taken from him. It's kind of sad. But, you know, people are so quick to judgments. They see that Scott Coffin donates to Republicans and the right wing conservatives that generally, more often than not, because there are some right wing conservatives, I'm sure, that are not transphobes and homophobes, uh, but thank you to those people who exist. Um, but you know, it seems like the main trend is people who are those things also have right winged viewpoint. And so therefore, uh, as a result, people were probably just really scared that when Scott Coffin was given the money, it was to support bills that would uh, hurt the trans community or would hurt uh, the gay community and the LGBTQ community as a whole, even though as an indie game developer, it makes literally zero sense to do that. So, you know. Uh, yeah. But here's the thing, like, you know, to play devil's advocate, if Scott Coffin is donating money to the Republicans because he supports, you know, those anti-trans laws and stuff, you know, just playing devil's advocate, if he does, then, well, it does suck. It's the beautiful thing about nowadays, we're able to stand up for our rights, whereas I feel like in the past, um, that wasn't really happening a whole lot. And so, the fact that we're progressing in this way, I think it's a beautiful thing. Um, but that's just my, my yeah. take on it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going through Scott's head. I don't know if he does or doesn't support the trans community, the LGBTQ community. I don't know why he wanted to give the Republicans money. Maybe he just really likes the idea that, you know, we shouldn't be giving drugs to, you know, people under the age of, like, 25 or whenever your brain fully develops or whatever. Like, if that's the case, that makes perfect sense. Like, that's doing good in the world, in my opinion. But then again, that's just me. A person who doesn't often go out of their way to drink alcohol or do any sort of drugs of that sort. So, you know, that's just yeah. the way that it is for me. Two laps. Yeah, like I, I agree with you on that, and that sort of thing. And but people also did sort of cross the line with like trying to cancel them, sort of thing. Because people went out of their way to send not just. Scott Coffin himself, but his own family's like death threats and all that. Well, that's just <laughs> internet culture as a whole. Yeah. Fun fact: Mick Foley was such a good heel in ECW. ECW fans would bring a sign that says "Kane Dewey," which is the name of his son, which means people hated Mick Foley so much in ECW they wanted his son to die. That's just from pro wrestling. So like, there's always yeah. like, crazy people yeah. in the world. Got there? Yeah. Three laps in nine minutes. 26 Six seconds. seconds. Okay. So definitely way past me. That cut your time in half. That You but cut my time in half. The other thing to remember is that I was going, like, 
by the end my speed was at six which is at least triple your speed and I was going give or take double your speed most of the way through yeah it isn't really a fair comparison but I know that I just wanted to push myself to see how fast I could finish three minutes yeah and the fact that I did that it's very happy so there you go that's the end of the first video what did I say first video that's the end of the video subscribe you know it's good for you yeah it's not a threat I'm just really tired peace